Rams are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. The Wild have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. Angles it over to Lemieux. Great hit on the play. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. Champions got a reputation for being strong in the face-off dots, guys. That's his quick draw zone ability, and it's how he can win puck possession. Lemieux's known for making unbelievable moves at high speed. That's his ankle breaker zone ability, and it's what helps him get past defenders. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Two on one, here we go. Shoots. Oh, it's stayed out. Oh my goodness, what a stop. And that goes off a player. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. The Penguins take possession in the defensive end. And there's the whistle icing the call. Hurts wreaks havoc on goalies with his one-time blast, guys. That's his 1T zone ability, and his squad knows if he can get open, they've got a good chance to score. Taken along the wall by Carlson. Great reach by Kane. Boldy's moving the puck through his own zone. Receives the pass. Hannafin's got the puck along the wing. Sends it in deep. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. From a close, the score! And this end up crowd has already turned it up a notch after that strike. Anytime you're sitting in the dressing room pregame, you know what everyone's talking about is getting a great start, and it's all around the room, and they do just that elevate this crowd. The energy in the air is exciting. There's a reason why coaches talk about crisp passing and execution. They get angry in this game practice if it isn't on the tape. He puts on a clinic here in distribution and it winds up as a goal. Pittsburgh's on the board. The crowd's loving it. I even think the coach is smiling on the bench too. That's always a good thing when you look back at your coach and they're smiling because it doesn't happen often, James. But one thing that does get a smile is a great start because they now know that you were ready right from puck drop, not from just a physical standpoint, but from an emotional side too. Minnesota's looking to break out. From right out of midair, he bats it down. And he slides it quickly to Latang. Takes the puck. And he was ready for that save. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Minnesota's through center and now in the offensive end. Fires it on net. And that goes off course off a of body. Scooped up along the wall by Rust. Moves it to Graves. Sends the pass in front. Oh, and he just couldn't properly connect with that shot. Stahl's aware that he needs to step up for his team, guys. His zone ability is one part of his game that can help his team close this gap. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Tremendous hit into the boards, and that's a finishing play. Addison stick handling in his own zone. Minnesota's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Tries it to the crease. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Well, he typically scores when he gets these opportunities. He is their emotional leader. He inspires this entire group. That was a huge save for the goaltender to make. Oh, absolutely hammers him. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Pittsburgh's up one zip. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Stops him with a glove. 
We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Center's gliding up to the face off dots here. Pittsburgh's got possession here at their own end. Feeds the puck to Raquel. That's a solid check on the play. Takes the feed. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Delayed penalty coming up here. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Lima Hockey is all about finishing your checks, but that was almost predatory as he came from a distance to finish that check. Way too hard, didn't glide in, it's a call all day long. Yeah, guys, this power play is ranked top 10 in the league, and if they just get a couple of good looks, they can truly capitalize on this. Let's see what happens in the first one of the game here. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Oh! Collision there. He just got railroaded. Closed space so fast and just taken down. Crosby's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Stalls ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Pittsburgh's won the draw. Here's a short pass to Latang. Puts it on net. The Wild have gained possession under man. And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. Trying to engage a little physicality here. Reaches out and uses the stick. Quick feed to Lemieux. Scores! And they capitalize with the extra player on the ice, and it's a power play goal. Well, using the advantage of having extra ice available to them, James, that's why their most skilled players are on the ice. That one's executed to perfection. are sitting pretty right now with a two-goal lead, and it's still early in this one. Yeah, they've got a lot of game left, but they certainly got the start that they wanted to. They've been pressing all over the ice, closing quickly, and of course, finishing. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. From the point, they take control of it. Puts it on net from the point, and that shot dies in traffic. And he'll hang on to the puck for a much-needed whistle. Well, and this is huge, James. The ability to slow the game down, get a line change. There's no one happier than the coach right now. More than half the frame has been played here. Pittsburgh's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Came up with a nice save. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Johns moves it into the attacking end. And that's deflected. The Penguins will play it from the defensive zone. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Hammers the shot, and he says no! Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Pittsburgh still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Tries to feed it over to Kane. Puts it on net. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Chari. Getzel's taking it from his own end. And the pass is picked off. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities. And it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Takes a shot. Oh, what a close save there. To me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity Pittsburgh's won the draw inside the offensive zone now let's see what they can do with it 
tries to get it over to Kane. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Now a quick pass to Kane. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Pittsburgh's been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks at a great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. Handles the puck. Fired into the offensive zone, allowing for the blue line to change things up. The Penguins are in transition. They put the puck into the offensive end. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Tough save, and he handles it with ease. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Pittsburgh's got the lead here late in this first period. Harrison X won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Rocked him. The Penguins stars make it three in a row, and they're coming now. Well, they certainly are three in a row. They've got their opponents on their heels. It is a way you can steal it. The energy every single shift. They're getting it in. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. Pittsburgh's taken advantage of their opportunities offensively so far here in this first. More shots, more goals. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. Can complete the pass as it goes off the stick. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. Jari is able to square up to the shooter right here. He's in a dangerous position in the slot area. What a great save, James. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Rust. Michaels got it in the defensive end. Rocks him on the play. Slides the puck across to Latang. Into the offensive zone. it for period number one, second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. Both teams back on the ice are lined up and period number two is about ready to go. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second, because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Minnesota's really been out of rhythm in that first 20 minutes, James, and really disjointed and disconnected. They're going to have to find a way to get something going in the second period. It's going to be a leader in the room, someone to step up, in particular in the first shifts of this game, and say, hey, we're here, we're ready to play, we're resetting, we're going to stay present. Smart defensive play there. Johns carries the puck in his own zone. Gaining momentum up along the side. Moves it quickly over to Michael. And that carries off a stick. Puck moved over to Lemieux. They go on the attack through center. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Crisp's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Pittsburgh's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. And that's a smart heads-up play, but they've got a two-on-one. Driving to the net. Oh, spectacular save to shut down the rush. Lots of time left in this period. Pittsburgh's on easy street right now. They lead it 3-0. Koivu's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Levels them with the hit. They've got numbers here. Burns explores his options behind the net. Great save by Chari. Drills them. Here's a pass in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Pittsburgh's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time.
time here in the second. Nice job tying up his opponent. Cut grab by Stahl. Here they come on the attack. Minnesota's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Made the save on the play. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Latang's gonna play it against the half wall. Oh. Sorry for jumping in, James, but that was a massive hit. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Three nothing is where we sit. Pittsburgh's won it, now they'll go on the attack. What a steal in his own end. Slides the puck over. Here's the shot. And he stakes that one with the cloth. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Collins won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Hannafin. And he takes the feed. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Slip feed. And he lowers the boom there. Poked away by Hannafin. Good hit on the play. And it goes on. Scores! All over the rebound. And tucks it in for the goal. Such a beautifully executed goal, but it's all in the past, James. Knowing exactly where everyone is on the ice. You have to have the hands to be able to distribute a puck like this. But how about the vision? How about scanning? How about processing where everyone is? This is unbelievable from start to finish. Minnesota's got one back. Now can they get themselves another? They're going to be able to if they do one thing, and that is attack and drive the coverage back. And if you do that, you find ways to get shots through the net. Oh, and that'll make his teammates take notice on the bench after that hit. Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve pucks. And man, can they deliver bone-crushing hits. Huge steal in his own end. And the puck's booted away. The Penguins have it against the wall. The Wild have the puck on the attack. Oh, and look who gets rocked once again. Well, he's a target now, James, because he's got a lack of spatial awareness. You gotta keep your head up if you wanna play this game and be safe in it. Made the stop on the play. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. Passes it, sends it over. along the wall. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick pass to Johns. And he takes the feed. That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass. And they'll dump it in. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Champion. Play whistle dead offside the call. trailing and they're looking to him to use his zone ability to generate some offense guys face off here in the neutral zone and we are back underway stones him in front goaltenders work so much on their reaction time and man this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save well past the midway mark of this period Pittsburgh's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Here's a blast! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Jari's faced a lot of shots tonight, James, and he's been dialed in and made the necessary saves, but his team's been excellent in front of them, generating some offense and a reason why they have a lead. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. Moves it to champion. Passes the 
the puck over to Carlson. Works it across to Michael. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And makes the save. And he puts it into his own net. James, how surprised you think the goaltender is? He just spins around and tries to clear the puck and he fires it past the tender. Minnesota's got one back here late in period number two. Now, can they even things up? They need to get the equalizer, and the best way to do it is stay connected as a five-player unit. They did real well in that scenario, in that last sequence, to get that goal. They'll need to continue where they left off. Centering feed, and he denies that great opportunity there. Quick pass over to Rust. Good check, frees the puck up. Slides it diagonally to Stahl. Poked away at center by Eriksson Ek. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. What a hit on the play! Oh my! Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags him, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Love it. There's the whistle, and here's the call. You're going to take a penalty. You might as well take your opponent with you as they both march to the box. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. Well, four-on-four -four is similar to three-on-three. -three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-ones all over. And now it's over to Granlin. Oh, he came to bring the physicality tonight. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. And he coughs it up with the pass. Scores! Deuces wild as that's his second of the game. Well, he's got two tallies on the score sheet, James, but I love this game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the four check. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. Well, a miscue by the goaltender, James, and I'm not sure whether he lost track of the puck or he just lost his positioning. Either way, the puck is in the back of the net. Same result. are nearing the intermission with a two-goal lead here, Cheryl. I like the position they're in. Yeah, they're in a great position, but they'll want to maintain this energy right through the period. You can see the coaching staff just tapping the backs, making sure they keep everyone focused because this is also where your opponent gets very urgent. Here's a short pass to Granlin. Takes the pass. Fearless, totally fearless on the block. He got all of that hit on the play. Gets in front of it. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Niskanen's carrying it ahead. Here's a chance. Steps in front of it for the block. Denied that one. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. The Tang's not going to be able to return to the game, James. I mean, that injury that he suffered earlier is going to keep him out. This is a tough loss for their team. No, and you clearly kind of know where you stand from a coaching standpoint now, but that is a serious blow to the lineup here for the rest of the game. John setting up against the wall. There's a collision with some authority. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Denies the chance by blocking it. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Kaprizov. There's a save. 
Good hit to bump him off the puck. Cuts to the front. Big time stop. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive. He's competitive and he wins the battle. Here he is in front. Glove save and he made it look simple. Lots of time left in this period. The Penguins lead it 4 2. And they win the draw here in their own end. Pass it up ahead. Sizzle shot and he makes the save. The Penguins have it now. Minnesota's got the puck. Shots him down. Tucked away in the offensive end. Cuts it wide. scoring area. Pittsburgh's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Burns. Levels him against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Stahl. And he stopped that one. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Addison's moving pretty slowly out there. Really looks shaken up. Knocked off the puck. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Addison's finding a way to limp himself back to the bench here and finish his shift, but man, it's been a tough one. He got injured somewhere in the midst of it, showing a lot of heart and passion here as he's committed to staying on the ice for his team. Still lots of time left in the period. Pittsburgh's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Slides the puck down low, and it's a quick pass to Addison. And he lays him out with that collision. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped with a Just out with the glove save. Wow. Pittsburgh's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. Minnesota's won the draw. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. That'll create some separation. Tremendous reflexes with the pad. What a stop by Curry. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Quick pass to Crosser. And he rings the post. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Carlson's in a lot of pain here, James. You can see it in his face as he's hobbling and laboring, trying to get back to the bench. Anytime you're injured, you want to know exactly where the play is. You don't want to put your team in a vulnerable spot, so you got to get off. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Koibu's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Jari's got the puck, and he's going to hang on for a whistle. Well, there's only one reason that this game is tight, James. It's the guy between the crease. He elects to hold on to that one. He has been dynamite. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's a two-goal lead here tonight. 4-2 is where we're sitting. And a solid job tying up his opponent. From the left side, they gain the zone. Quick pass across to Kane. Rocks him. Breaking into the attacking zone for the right. Puts it in deep. Angles it over to Kane. And Ross lugging the puck. Takes the pass from the left wing. 
Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Moves the puck. The Penguins play it along the boards. Here's a shot. Oh, he got cuddled by Dudnik. He's feeling it tonight. Two goals looking for his third. Put it on the post. Baldy's got to be so frustrated, James. He's hit the bar a number of times tonight just when he thinks it's going to go in. Go, here's the medal. Go. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Moves it to Hannafin. Pittsburgh's moving it into the offensive end. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Shot! The blocker saved by Chari. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Answered the call on that play. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. The Penguins have played in their own end. Knocked away by Niskanen. Here's a short pass to Vanek. To the front! Oh, he got all that! What a save by Curry! In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. New York's coming up next on the schedule. Get your tickets, it should be a good time. More than half the period has expired. The Penguins have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. Lemieux won the draw inside his own end. Makes the save! Jari's gonna opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. He got all of that one. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, and guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits just like that one. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone face-off. Michaels won the faceoff. Battling for it along the boards. Grabs the puck. Minnesota's on the attack. Gives him a troll with that hit. Here's a pass in front. Misses the net. Tries to feed it over to Michael. Takes the feed. Stops him cold. And look at this. They've turned this offensive end into a pressure cooker. it away in his own end. The Wild have the puck against the boards. The Penguins are firing on all cylinders, in particular their second line. They've had a lot of mojo going for them tonight. They found the back of the net. They can keep contributors. And the reason why they're leading in this game. Trying to shake loose. storyline here throughout the game and now we know for sure he won't be back. Minnesota's got him into the offensive zone. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Minnesota's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. Into the corner of the attacking area. Fires it. Gives him nothing in front. They've got the extra attacker out there, and Cheryl, we know what this means. Well, you have to get possession with that extra player on the ice. They'll look to win that draw and convert on their opportunity. Stahl's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Quick feed to Vanek. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. What a hit on the play. Everyone.
going on the ice as that empty netter went in. That's an insurance marker, and that's going to be the game. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Minnesota's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face-off. Takes a shot! Oh, and it makes a save! Just got enough to keep it out! And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought hero this evening. Didn't mean to step on you like that, James, but looked at that hit and it just took me off guard. And it is all over with this one. And you can chalk up another victory for a team that is playing with a lot of confidence right now. Uh, I mean, they've got a winning streak going, and, and anytime you have something like that going, you just feel like you're going to win when you step onto the ice and you're confident, you've got swagger, and everything seems to be clicking. Got to love, and you've got to really embrace when it feels like that. This has really become one of the real premier party destinations in the hockey landscape, and here's a reason why. Look at the celebration here, Cheryl. And you gotta love this. I mean, the fans are there for you while you're playing the game, and you come back out know, to say thank you to them. Well, a fun night of hockey comes to an end, but guess what, everybody? There's always next time, and we will see you then. For Cheryl Powder, I'm James Sabusky. Thanks for playing.